Good morning. This is Laura Love, your faithful reporter, and I know I look pretty rough today. <clears throat> I'm still just reeling over the uh, over the events of yesterday, uh, the day, during the day and during the night. Um, <clears throat> what I saw yesterday, uh, I, I can't believe. I can't believe this is America. I, I just can't believe it. Um, the the people. The occupiers. We we started out wanting to uh, reclaim a building for the uh, Occupy Oakland as as headquarters and a place to house and the homeless and to feed people, and as a place to plan the future. Um, <clears throat> the police in this country are no longer here to protect and serve. They're employed as an army, a domestic army against civil disobedience and protesters. Um, the people that you saw, the occupiers that you saw, um, <coughs> sorry, engaging with the police. These these aren't kids. These aren't men, women, and children. Kids out to create mischief. Our country has been overthrown uh, from within by corporations and by the very rich and by bankers, and we're trying to save a dying planet from the one percent. From greed, um, I'm. We're, we're trying to stop things like oil-soaked birds. <laughs> we're, we're, we don't want to see any more oil, oil slicks. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to see any more people get thrown out of their houses. We don't want to see. Hydro fracking. We don't want to see uh, corporations um, throwing people. I can't even describe all the things that that are that are wrong. That occupiers are out here to try with their lives to correct. Um, the one percent control every aspect of our lives. They control our access to clean air. They control our access to to clean water. They control our access to education. They control uh, what what the quality of the food that we eat. And companies like uh, uh, Monsanto, they uh, control the chemicals that are put into our food. They are they control the 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 food the the quality of the the plants they have they have patents on plants they have gen genetically modified the food supply and we don't want to live in that kind of world and we don't want to live in a world where pe people can be denied health care because they don't have the money to pay for a procedure we don't want to live in a world where mountain tops can be blown off and all the creatures that live on that mountaintop it can lose their lives and lose their habitat because there's oil underneath or coal underneath that mountain or or gold. We don't want to live in a world where poor people live in their cars. We don't want to live in a world where the sick, the mentally ill live in huddled in, in building doorways at night, sleeping in parks. We don't want to live in a world where children have no quality of education. We don't want to live in a world that, that's toxic. We don't want to live in a world where police are used as an army by the 1% to protect their greed and privilege, and that's the world we live in right now. And that's why we occupy, and that's why everyone that I saw occupying yesterday occupies. And we feel strongly that even if we do everything we can, the planet may still die, and that it may be too late. But we have to try to do something, and that's why people are occupying. And corporations now control the courts, Corporations control the legislation. They control our politicians. Um, and we've, we have very little chance of overturning things now, but we have to try because we love this country. We love the world. We love all the creatures, all the creatures, not just humans. We love everything here, and we want to see it thrive, and we want to see it 
be distributed among all peoples, not just those who are greedy and who have obscene amounts of wealth. We want to see a just and fair world. That's why we occupy. And what happened yesterday was unbelievable to me. And so please, please support the Occupy movement and please come out. The only chance that we have to turn things over is is to occupy and continue civil disobedience until we wrest the the, the power out of the hands of the 1%, the tiny, tiny percentage of people who control everything that happens to us.